Keith here with an update on the BMW i8 project. I'm waiting for the tub to come in from Pacific Motors, so I'll still work on taking the carbon fiber apart, but it's going to sit for a little bit. In the meantime, what I've been working on is the CV axles. Um, BMW i8 has four CV axles, two in the front, two in the rear. This is what it sort of looks like. Um, and then this boot, of course, slides onto the shaft. Then this piece with little bearings inside here, it fits onto the shaft there. And then the cup slides on, uh, slides on there. And then this is the end that goes in the transmission. This is the end that goes out to the brake rotor, or the brake hub, the hub assembly. Um, this particular boot had a tear in it, and the tear was right up here. Um, it was about this long. And it's on a non-flexed area of the boot. So I was able to use some vulcanizing rubber, clean it up, uh, vulcanizing rubber cement, clean it up, glue it. And then I used some bicycle tube vulcanizing patches on the inside also just to give it a little extra protection. And I I've been able to salvage that boot. You cannot buy the boot or a rebuild kit um, for the BMW i8. You can for most other cars. They run about 20 bucks. For the i8, you have to buy the entire axle assembly. The fronts are about 500 to 900. The rears are 1,000 to 1,500. So they're quite pricey. And just for context, if this were a Honda Civic, an entire replacement CV axle assembly would probably be 90 bucks. Um, they're not that difficult to change. You just need a big 17 millimeter um, Allen for the bolt out on the hub side. And then once you pull the suspension back a little out of the way, you don't need to completely remove it like I did here. You just pull it up back out of the way. That axle just pops out and the new one just pops in. You line it up here again and put the bolt through and push the suspension back into place with your bolts and you're done. So if you've got a bad axle that you need to change, if you've got a little mechanical inclination, it's not that difficult to do. You, you can call me, I'm happy to walk you through it. It could save you hundreds to even $1,000 in labor uh, versus having the dealer do it. And the axle itself is expensive enough already. Um, so not that difficult to actually change. The other axle on the car was torn up in the accident, and this is it here. And you can see that this end, it's missing the roller bearings and the bearing cap that fits on top, and the boot's all torn up. This is what it's supposed to look like. So I was able to get a brand new one uh, straight from Germany, and it's manufactured 2019, brand new, just like uh, my car. It was about $1,100, so I've seen them as high as $1,500. I've seen used ones that are old and rusty go for $900, so $1,100, I guess, wasn't too bad. It's still crazy expensive. I'll keep this old one because this whole boot end and internals are still good, so if ever um, I get a torn boot, I've got a boot to replace it, and I don't have to buy a whole new axle again. So that's your update on the i8. The um, CV axles aren't that difficult to change. You cannot buy a rebuild kit for them. Uh, one of the reasons why the BMW is a little more complicated is the most of the receiving cups on regular cars look like this on the inside, but on the outside, they don't have this divot in it here, this little fluted area. They're actually completely round. So their boots are completely round as well. Um, the BMW, of course, you can see is not that way. It's got these little rubber flanges that fill this gap so you don't lose grease. If uh, BMW had made this round, I probably could have gotten a boot off of, you know, a Honda Civic or a Lexus or a Toyota or something that would have been the same diameter here and the same diameter here and got it to work. But because of this fluted design, you can't do that. Now, this boot here, which is out by the hub, you might be able to because it's just round on both sides, like almost everyone else out there. Um, I don't know if you might be able to find a universal boot or go down to your auto parts store and have them spec it out and you might be able to get one that, that will work. But not so much on this side because of this design feature right here. Uh, anyways, that's your update. If you get questions, let me know. If you've got a bad axle and you want to replace it, I'm totally happy to help you with it. It's not that big of a job. A couple of wrenches and, and it can be done, save you thousands. And uh, we'll keep you posted on how this beauty comes along. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.